a new study that claims that happy couples are less likely to post (laughs) their partner on social media. The results found that those who share three or more couple selfies per week (laughs) are allegedly 128% unhappier. I want to keep that part of my life personal. It's called personal life for a reason. The minute you put that stuff on social media, now it's public, everybody all in your business, and now you got these thirsty ass chicks that's all (laughs) over your man. And like, yeah, I heard your man got that good dick. Al Boogie, what's up, Al Boogie? Oh, Al Boogie in the building. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. Al Boogie, you done missed your friend cutting the hell up. Video number two, the I've Had It podcast asks, is it true that couples that consistently post each other online are a huge red flag? That's a good question. That's a good, ain't that a good, what about T, what do you think T before I hit the video? Do you think people who always, oh, that's my man. This my, 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 my man. Yeah. I mean, so from, from, from experience, the people that I know that will post their lives were totally the total opposite in private. Yeah. So oh, they, they yeah. make it look like it's all peaches and cream online. But and if, the if I'm at their house, oh my God, they don't even talk to each other. That, you know what, man? That's not the one. It's <laughs> Fish Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. The new study that claims that happy couples are less likely to post <laughs> their partner on social media. The results found that those who share three or more couple selfies per week (laughs) are allegedly 128% unhappier. The studies suggest that, quote, trust issues could be causing these unhappy couples to post more often on social media. They're posting around all the time. Somebody is fucking around it's to prove that a somebody point. found out <laughs> um, listen damn. she, she didn't want to hear from me like yeah I mean, you think it's true my thing is is what's, what you need the validation for if that's your man that's your woman why do everybody got to know like yeah, yeah. i i, I yeah. don't get me wrong you know some people do post you know because that's what they want to do you know some people that's like their whole blog type life right however me i'm the type of person i want to keep that part of my life personal yeah, it's called you know personal I mean? life for a reason the minute you put that stuff on social media now it's public everybody all in your business and now you got these thirsty ass chicks that's all over <laughs> your man and like, look. yeah i heard your man got that good dick Al boogie oh, what's up Al boogie <laughs> oh Al boogie in the building yes sir hey hey Al boogie you done missed your friend cutting the hell up <laughs> Hell, man, they started it. You got to no, go back did. and watch the first half. <laughs> <laughs> it is first wild. video. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so what do you think, bro? Do you, you, you think this is... I mean, well, let me ask you, hold on. I'm going to ask you, do you got friends like that? So listen, my homies, the ones that do the post, except for one, my one cousin, he definitely, he's a great guy. Like, he's probably the best relationship guy I've ever met. Shout out to me. He's, he's a real one. But all the other guys that I know, and I mean all of them, that post they women, yeah, they are the biggest 304s mm. I know. They post the girls all the time. They'll be in the car hold with on, me. Hold on. They post their girlfriends. They'll post their girlfriend. But then still be cheating. We'll be in the car together. They'll be posting their girl like, yo, bro, I'm about to go get this joint right here. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> off. My one homie, he posted his girl. Do they have separate accounts or basically they interacting with these these other girls with why these girls knowing that they posting their girlfriend. Listen, I don't know the I don't know the science behind it because again I'm a private person. I don't really like nobody in my business anyway, so I never post stuff like that. You might get the most you might get is my kids, and that's just here and there. But yeah. other than that, I don't need you to know all my business. Right. But these do I never forget. I went out with my homie. I ain't gonna put his name out there. He is, you know, doing his thing on Instagram, <laughs> talking about some can he bring a girl to my crib to smash her that, that we met. Oh, oh no, no, no. He try, see, he's trying to get you jammed up with his girl. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I can't I can't take her home. Just, she got a car. Tell me I'll get a hotel. Bro, right. Listen, so yeah. all the guys that I know, except for one, that were the were like major posting of the of the woman that they was with at whatever time. Yeah. The biggest cheaters I know. Oh man. You know, but See, this is what kills me. And I know a few people, I know girls that do, oh, they post a man all the time. 
And then I'm like, it's, yo, it's but the, your household prove, isn't like to that. To prove like, a point. Like, to prove a point to the outside. But at the end of the day, it's like... But who are you trying to prove? Who are you trying to prove it to? Outside, they probably trying to make their life look more appealing than what it, than what it really is. No. Like, come on, yeah. I'm not No, I didn't mean to say no. What... Uh, I, I'll give a, a, a opposite uh, point of view. What I think it is is to not make them look like smuts. You know, I think <laughs> so. I you think, post the same guy over and over, knowing that you out in the streets doing your thing, because it makes you look more wholesome. Now, you know what I think is them overcompensating. overcompensating I think like I what? think I think that their household or their relationship is so effed up. That's even that they, got, they, they try look, to make it look good. Exactly, because they'll make it look, seem it, they could be in a relationship. Then what it is, right? So to them, they are in a relationship with the guy, <laughs> and then you know, and I've seen it where <laughs> these girls be taking these pictures, right? And then the guys don't even be knowing. Look, That's number look, one. Look, look, look. I remember it was a big thing that girls used to do a, a, a lot. They used to take pictures of them guys while they would sleep. Listen, hey, it's crazy. Mike. Let me tell you something. I, man, look, back in the day, I party with a lot of motherfuckers. Boy, they cheat. They cheat. They had athletes, you should cheat. Athletes and nurses, they cheat their ass. Oh, my God. The <laughs> nurses. Oh, my. Athletes and nurses, they cheat their ass. And, off, the girls that, and the people that do security. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Let me just, I'm going to tell you this. Real quick, before we go why, to the why comment. Why can't just say people in general? Listen. Why I got to no, be people like them? No, no. I'm before we go to the comment, I'm going to tell you who the number one cheaters are. And I'm going to mix them up between males and females. Okay. I want nurses, to this. Nurses. Athletes. Cops. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Personal trainers, security yeah. guards, security yep. guards, yep. bartenders, oh. bar meets. Anybody okay, work so except I, 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 I can I can agree with a couple of those. So I did deal with a personal trainer before, and he uh -huh. was a, th a three hundred four of all ultimate three hundred fours. That's the then, easiest way to get exactly. It. Yeah. Then I had this uh, guy. He was like a, a father figure to me. He was like, "Let me tell you something. Never ever deal with a man in uniform." So oh, he was he, talking he, about all the women love men in uniform. Firefighters. He was talking about firefighters and police officers. He said, "Never deal with them." He said, "They yep. are the worst." He said, "Because you are too good of a woman to deal with somebody like that." He said, "I'm telling you, you're going to mm -hmm. set yourself up." I said, "Okay." And I've never and I've heard so many mm -hmm. horror stories of people that dealt with firefighters and or cops. Is uh, yeah. ridiculous? Oh, oh, big time. Oh, cop, cop. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Female cops. Ooh. Oh, boy, they freaky and dangerous at the same Ooh. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah freaky and Girl, let me cuff you. <laughs> let me cuff you. Uh, you do all the cuffing all day. Let me cuff you. <laughs> Put all your right. hands behind your back. <laughs> all right, what we got? So, let's go to the comment. Let's go. So, the first comment. The first comment is from Brian Steve. Brian says, Nothing says I cheated like a joint Facebook account. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Brian spelled it down right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> that yeah, is because, true. Because, because if you ever get caught cheating, you got, you got, yeah, yeah, yeah babe. Like just, share it just tag me yeah. in it. No, I don't care. Just, oh just tag me in it just to shut you up. Yeah. You so know what I mean? Why he, on the other hand, got a whole nother account. With a you different got, home yeah, than You goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> or here I'm or here I'm Leroy Simpkins. Right. But on the other one, I'm big D energy 2022. With no pictures. <laughs> no, no pictures. No, no pictures. <laughs> big Papa <of> Pump penis. <laughs> All right, so second comment. Second comment from Gigi. So Gigi says, I get so annoyed when I know my friends are in a bad place with their husbands because they've told me and they post these. My husband is so great. My friend is so lies. cute. Lies. It be lies. This girl, shut oh, the hell up. Lies. lies. <laughs> shut, shut your ass up. <laughs> Yeah, we know you and Stevie Man. was in there arguing over the noodles and noodles last night. Yeah, and you see, see, about this is my thing. Don't get me wrong. Anybody in a relationship is going to argue, but yeah. these people be in such unhealthy relationships to the point it's like, okay, damn, y'all don't even speak. Hey. Y'all don't sleep with each other. Y'all sleep but. in different beds. He in the he on the couch. You in the bed. Like, oh my god! But they put it out there like they the most happy right. couple Absolutely. in the world. Because again, people then they go on these vacations. First of all, I know a girl that went on a vacation with her dude, and here it is. I guess whenever whenever I guess they did finally link up yeah. when they was on vacation. That's when they took the pictures. However, he did his thing. She did her thing. The whole vacation, five days. The whole vacation. The whole well, what, see, the thing, well, why the fuck are you going to make exactly that, That's my, my point. point. What am I going that's here for? That's my point. I'm going to waste my money. You could go by yourself. I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. you Pretty go much somewhere. according to her because he paid for it. But I think, you know, she probably kind of told him, like, look, you better take me. So whatever it is, I don't know. 
Man. All I know is she would call me. He would be nowhere around. I'm like, hold up. I thought this was for y'all. She's a you, damn fool. Yeah, you, you, you know, you know where, you know where he was at. Yeah. He was on the phone with the other chick. No, he was at the he was at the uh, the swim up bar <laughs> <laughs> down at the, at the resort. At the resort. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm about to eat this. Taco. Yeah, y'all know I'm here by myself. You want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm about to eat these tacos real quick. <laughs> look, he said tacos at the floor. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, look, look. So the next comment, next comment is from Thomas Stevens. Thomas says, the more you see couples online together, the worse things are at home. It just is. Just yeah, it I is. Believe it. I, I, it I is. believe so. I, I definitely do. I just don't think that, like, again, the that's the curse of social media is that people feel like they have to validate everything they do. Yep. And it's like, if it's your relationship, again, who cares what everybody else thinks? I don't understand why people just can't keep things private anymore. That's why these relationships now these days it's don't that, work. It's, that, it's, it's that adrenaline. Of, that, that, it's, that, it's because yep. of social media. Yep. It's that it's that it's again we we you always that instant gratification and it's a, like a, a, it's instant gratification but it's also as humans we're competitive i want to show that my relationship is better than yours and it's subliminal like it's subconscious first of all they don't i don't even want think you about know it, nothing but, about my relationship but so i want you, i want you to know that mine's better than yours how, i remember my, my, my grandfather's here my my grandfather i'll say not only my grandfather but my grandmother and my grandparents they always keep your shit yeah. yeah, keep your shit private. You know I mean, because the reason why, you, if you keep posting your girlfriend's shit, next thing you know, your boy gonna be up and like, yeah, sure. Listen, Look. you know what I mean? Listen. Like, like, like he can't treat you the way I treat you. You know many. You know how many people I know that you go on the Instagram, they got fourteen hundred pictures, mm. and then a couple minutes, a couple months later, they got eight. <laughs> it. It's like, hey, why are you picking so Oh, that's because you had you and Jerome in there, and now you ain't with Jerome no more. Oh, wow. You got to get rid of all them pictures. Oh, wow. Now you played yourself. So now, now you know how many of my guys I know that that is the dead giveaway. Let me get in the DM. Because I just seen this girl. She's been on here. Post to her mm-hmm. dude. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen him in like a month. Mm-hmm. Then you go, uh, you hit okay. the, you hit the page. Ooh, this one from five hundred pictures to twelve. She's a free agent. <laughs> yeah, DM. I mean, I'm sliding. Game time. I'm sliding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew. I, 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 I tell you, my boy wasn't shit. Hey, listen. Yeah, you know I mean, if, you need to call me if you just need somebody to talk to, or you need to <laughs> show that, that'd them. That'd be the line. I got that'd you. be the line. That'd be the line. Like yeah. if you ever need somebody to we talk to, to I the swear, new... I done heard that line so many times. <laughs> we can go to the new cheesesteak bar in, in Center City and we can talk about we can it. Talk about it. Call me I if seen you need someone time. to talk to. Uh, call me. Satisfaction, Satisfaction guaranteed. guaranteed. <laughs> 